twist this um, wire until um, let's see here. Yeah, and obviously if uh, if it came out right about there, that would give us six eight millimeters. So we got to twist it almost all the way to the. It might have just twisted all the way up. Okay, so that's passive at the neutral junior junction. And then we'll stretch it about this much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we can reactivate easily. Okay, so let's now take and make our like, suspension wire. And the suspension is going to go between the two and the three. Cut that long and twist it in. Okay, and then we'll have another uh, piece of ligature. Okay, the passive coil is at the CEJ. Uh, I mean, the, not the CEJ, but the Eagle uh, Digital Junction. Thank you. Okay, let's measure what that looks like. Mm -hmm. How many millimeters that is? Let me see. Ruler? Ruler? And voila, white ruler in the Okay, we have from the CJ to the arch wire, I see 11 millimeters. Let's say 10, okay? Because the last millimeter I doubt we can get anyway. All right, so let's just say 10. That means our six millimeter coil. I have a little like scaler or something here. Where's our scaler? A six millimeter coil. Can be activated up to 10 millimeters as the, as they go up. That's plenty of room for us to do six millimeters of uh, intrusion. Okay, so do we have about four or five millimeter activation? Yeah. So um, on the six millimeter coil, two millimeters activation is 150 grams. Three is 200 grams. So we will be intruding about five millimeters in this case. We're going six millimeters on this case. All right, I would say that is about halfway. That's about a five millimeter activation. Oh, okay. Maybe a six millimeter activation, okay? So let's not do any more than that. Out of line again in case we need it to move it somewhere. And um, let me see about closing this. I'm not sure if that vertical is the best access to everything considered. I'll need some suture. Uh, she wants to 